Okay, I'm sitting in my room with uh, my uh, my bottle of Longina, which is almost bigger than I am. My bottle of Longina and my brioche, special kind of bread that has lots of make me feel better. And uh, I just went to my first day of school. I'm, oh my gosh, my heart's still beating. Uh, okay, so I didn't know what I was doing. I got into this and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? Therefore, henceforth, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I fell off. I followed the large group of people. I went into the door. It was 2 p.m. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, then I went and exchanged hands with all these different people. And I didn't know what they were saying because they were talking so fast. But then some people, when they, when um, I didn't understand what they said, spoke just as fast but louder and louder and louder until it was like they were shouting so it was kind of funny finally they um they realized they didn't have me down on the list of people and uh so they just put me in a random class i'm in class l l for literature l for language lots of language i take one mathematics class in the gym's class my schedule it's the most ridiculous thing ever. And it's just making me feel a lot better about what. If you ever feeling bad, eat some brioche. It's really good. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, also, um, I walked in. They're like, oh. And like every time the person went to go, like, put, bring me somewhere, they're like, this is the American. So I thought that was funny. They're like, uh, uh, Jane and Mary Kemp of it. I was just like, whoa, what? Um, so when I got in there, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And like all the people were like, new student. And I was just like, ooh, ooh no. So I just blushed, look away shyly. Um, and the teacher, surprisingly, knew a lot of English. And so he insisted that I spoke a lot of English while I was there, like all the time, so that he could speak English back to me. And then I didn't want to because I kind of wanted to try to fit in, whether that was either not saying, either try, you know, attempting to like speak French and like murdering their language, or if that was um, if that was like not speaking any French at all and not speaking any English so that I don't have to single myself out because I don't want to be singled out. Um, he asked me a couple of questions. I didn't know what he said the first couple times, it was like, I was just so nervous, I just like couldn't focus, but then after that I was good. Um, and I want to take this video camera with me to school, but looking at the way that people are looking at me anyway, it probably was a good idea that I didn't. And I know I think I'm going to make some friends, I didn't make any today. I ran into some people that talked to me, which is cool, but I don't know. All I know is my schedule is like this, okay? And I'm like really confused because I don't know what any of these places are. It's like being a freshman and trying to figure out where Streeter and Ranger and it's like what? Picture twice as many kids in the, as the academy all fitting in Colby Hall. Well, for classes, it's ridiculous. Okay, what's it? So someone ran off with my, uh, with my schedule, it's just, it's wonderful. Actually, no. Um, what is this? Um, my parent has it. But guess what? Looks like I'm going to be taking Italian while I'm here, British while I'm here, like Britain, like studying Britain. I'm going to be taking English as an art, like our English, which is cool because like, I hear if you study English, you learn the grammar way better than we can like, than we know when we grow up, right? So I'm taking English level one. <laughs> um, I'm going to like ace that class, which is good because I want to pass something. Um, I'm also taking Spanish. I'm taking math. I'm taking gym. Tomorrow class only goes till 12, so that's cool. Um, I'm taking history. I'm taking geography. I'm taking literature and journalism. And 
I'm taking lunch. Yes. Lunch. And I think that's about it. And that's all. But, um, I know this tape is finished because I just put finished my piece of brioche. And um, there's only one thing I can do when I'm done with that. Oh, Gina. Okay. Now, as a little side note, before I send this out to the world, um, I also, when I got off the bus, this is my little secret, but uh, when I got off the bus, I kind of got lost. Like, I couldn't find where my house was. But I, I'm trying so hard not to be like, a tourist or an outsider, so I tried to look like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> and eventually I walked into a store, <laughs> and I was like, do I ask for directions? No. No, no, don't ask for directions. When, and then the woman's like, do you want something? Because you're kind of standing there. And I'm like, uh... Yeah, I do. So that's where the brioche and the Tropicana um, Orangina came from. And also, like, the first thing I grabbed when I was in the store so that she wasn't suspicious. <laughs> More lint chocolate. And if you can find this in the United States, eat it. I'm addicted and you'll be too. Mars Delight. They're amazing, because I don't like Mars, but they're awesome. They're really good. I'm going to stare at this. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, so that was the first day. I'm not going to record every single day at school, just to let you know. Just this one, because it was my first day, and it wasn't even a day. It was like an hour, and it felt like eternity, because you were trying to like understand everything, but it was awesome. It was really cool. And, um, yeah, I'll be writing to as many people as I can tonight, and, um, yeah, okay. Bonjour, bonjour.